Welcome teachers. I would like to take just a few minutes to explain to you how to get a file from Canvas into OneNote. This has been a common question that I have had with the new Windows-based BAK Atlas device. There are three primary ways you can complete this operation. I'm going to show you all three, but in reality, probably only the first two will be of use to you. The third one will be of use only in very limited situations, but I will include the instructions. You can see that I have OneNote open, and I have a different page for each of the options. So I will be toggling between these pages to show you the various options. And you can see over here in Chrome, I have a example Canvas course listed with some examples assignments. So let's say that you have this example PDF that you want students to open in OneNote. You can obviously see that I am in student view within Canvas. So I'm going to click on that example PDF. And when I do that, I am going to have the option to then download that file or to view that file. I'm going to click to download it. Notice it starts to download in the lower left hand corner. When it's done, I click the up arrow and I hit open. Once this PDF file opens, I have several options as I have with all PDFs, but in the upper right hand corner there is the option to print. I'm going to hit the print button, and notice where it says the destination. Mine already says send to OneNote 16. If yours does not say that, hit change and find the destination that says send to OneNote 16. This essentially acts as a printer that is going to send the printout of this PDF to OneNote. So I'm going to cancel because mine's already been selected, but if yours had not been selected, you would select that. And then you are going to hit print. And at first it looks like nothing has happened. But if you go back over to OneNote, and sometimes it will take a little bit of time for this menu to show up, but there it pops up, and it will ask you where you would like to place this file. So I have my notebook, I have the uploading a Canvas file, uploading a file from Canvas rather, and within that I have three pages, so I have printing from OneNote, so that's what I just did, so I'm going to hit OK. That's the page that I want to put it on. And it will take just a moment and it will insert that page into my OneNote file. And there it is. And then of course with my stylus, I can highlight, draw, mark, whatever I need to on this PDF. So that is the first way. You go to Canvas, you download the file, you then print the file to OneNote, and then it will automatically pop up and ask you in OneNote where you would like to insert the file into which section, which section and which page. Okay, that's option number one, very useful option. Option number two, I'm going to close out of this and go back to my example Canvas course, and I'm going to go, in to go back to the assignments. And again, I'm looking at the example PDF. So I'm looking in the same place, but this would be a different way to complete the same operation. So this time, I am going to click the file, as you would have the students do in student view. And I'm going to click the file again, and I'm going to allow the file to download. But instead of clicking there, I'm going to hop back over to OneNote. And now I'm going to choose the Insert option, and I'm going to choose File Printout. It will open the location where I need to access the file printout from. The file that I just downloaded is going to be in the Downloads folder, so I would click on Downloads to access the correct spot, keeping in mind that you do have all the locations you could access a file from. And this would come in handy if the file is not coming from Canvas, if it's coming from someplace else, such as OneDrive or Google Drive or someplace like that, you have all of those options. But in this case, it's in the Downloads folder, so I'm going to click on Downloads, and I'm going to insert that same uh, Eclipse sheet, and I'm going to hit Insert. And I can see that the file has been uploaded into OneNote, the same as it had been on the previous page, so I now have the same file in two locations. And this one I will add some drawing or some marking on just to, so we know that it is a little bit different than the other ones. The first one I highlighted, this one I circled. Uh, so we have that file now inserted as well. So those are the two basic ways that you complete the operation. There is a third way, and I will show you that, but honestly that is going to be less useful. This is attaching the file, so this is not going to insert the file into the OneNote. It's simply going to attach it into your OneNote. You would have to click on it to open the file from there. So again, for this option, I would go back to Canvas and I would have the students download the file. And I'm not going to do that a third time because I've already done that process twice, but if you have questions, I can certainly help you with that. And then I would go to Insert 
And then this time I'm going to go to File Attachment. And again, I need to locate this, the place on the computer where that file is stored. In this case, it's in the Downloads folder, but yours can be any place within the computer, so it's important to know where it's stored. I'm going to choose that Eclipse sheet again, and I'm going to insert that. And it's going to pop up with a menu and ask me, do I actually want to attach the file or do I want to insert the file? So this, in this case, I do want to attach the file. Again, this is probably the least useful of the three options because all it does is put an attachment on, just like an attachment on an email where you would have to click on it to open it. So those are the three ways that you go about inserting a file from Canvas into OneNote. The first two hopefully will be useful for you, and you can find lots of uses for those and for your students. If you have any questions, please let me know. Otherwise, good luck using Canvas and OneNote with your new device. Yeah.